What's up everyone? My name is G. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> As you can tell by the title, I have been to a few charity shops recently, so here is all of the stuff that I got on my charity shop run. First up, as always, I'm going to start with the books. I very rarely buy books new, I always buy them second hand, um, just because I love, especially like play books, because people will annotate plays and will like annotate on books, and I just like books that are lived in and that like the spine has been cracked and... Mm. Yes. I'm really loving this author at the moment, Jenny Colgan. I've got two books by here. The first one is The Endless Beach, which I have no idea what this is about. On the quayside next to The Endless Beach sits the seaside kitchen. It's a haven for tourists and locals alike who all come to eat the most delicious food on the island and catch up with the gossip. Flora, who runs the cafe, feels safe and content unless she thinks too hard about her relationship with Joel, her gorgeous but emotionally and physically distant boyfriend. There's more, but I'm not going to read it. You guys will just have to buy it for yourselves. So there's that one. Got no idea what it's about, but I was like, Jenny Colgan, yes. Um, another one. This is in hardback. I never normally buy hardback books, but Sunrise by the Sea. I've heard a lot of good things about this book, and if you like... 500 miles from you, then apparently you're gonna like this book. So yeah, we'll see. When she is given the opportunity to move to a remote tidal island off the Cornish coast, Marissa Rossi decides, decides, decides some peace and quiet might be just what she needs. Since the death of her beloved grandfather back in Italy, she's been struggling to find a way out of her grief. Perhaps this will be the perfect place for her to recuperate. Does anyone else, when they read in hardback books, they automatically, like, they'll take the cover off? Look how cool this cover is. Of this book. Ooh. Almost died. So yeah, I'm excited to read that book. Next! If you are on BookTok or BookTube, you will know exactly what this book is about. I got this for 50p. It's called Normal People by Sally Rooney. Yeah. Uh, and I have no idea what it's about because I've forgotten. Connell and Marianne grow up in the same small town in the west of Ireland, but the similarities end there. In school, Connell is popular and well liked, while Marianne is a loner. But when the two strike up a conversation, awkward but electrifying, something life changing begins. Normal People is a story of mutual fascination, friendship, and love. It takes us from that first conversation to the years beyond in the company of two people who try to stay apart but find they can't. I'm very excited to read this. I've heard a lot of good things about this book, and on honestly, it was a pound, not 50p. <laughs> um, but honestly, for a pound, I'm happy with that. Let me know if you want to see, like, my most recently read list or my to be read list like if that's something that interests you pop it down in the comments give me some suggestions of like maybe you want to know what i'm reading at the moment i'll tell you actually i'm reading miss peregrine's home for peculiar children it's very good it's very horror <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about it. The next thing I got, I've been hemming and hawing about getting this and it was still in the charity shop since the last time I saw it there. So I was like, it's a sign. What am I on about? <laughs> I was like, it's a sign. I need to get it. Blood Orange. It's about Alison has it all, a loving family and a career on the rise. She's just been given her first murder case to defend, but all is never as it seems. I'll let you guys know how this one is. Right, onto the clothes. This is what you're all here for. Unless you're here for the books. In that case, hi. I have, let me just show you my big pile of books. Can you see it? My big pile of books. <laughs> I'm sorry if I've just moved like completely from where I was sitting, but let's get on with the clothes. Okay, so the first thing I got is there's not gonna be a try on clip for this because this doesn't fit. Um, and it's this floral daisy print crop top from Zara and it's really cute it's cropped it has these like sleeves and it has like a 
I don't know what you call it, like an elastic at the bottom of the sleeve, which makes it like the sleeve puff out. I paid three pound for this in Paul Satori, so I'm not overly disappointed that it doesn't fit. It's a size medium. It will be on my Depop. I'll have my Depop linked below if you're interested in buying it. Um, I'm gonna put it up for three pound and yeah. Next, we have this gorgeous dress. Oh, it's inside out. I found a really nice dress that's a size 18 in a charity shop, which I never thought that I would find, but it's this stripy long sleeve, super maxi dress. And I thought this with some brown boots or some chunky statement jewelry would look really nice. I'm definitely going to wear this to work because this is very much what a teacher would wear if you get my drift. But yeah, it's super stretchy. I think it's super flattering. I really, really like it. The material's really nice and comfy. Um, and yeah, it's a win for me. Right, I'm not sure about this one. I either love it, love, love, love it, or I absolutely hate it and it makes me look like a whale. I'm not convinced. Um, but this is also from Zara. It's in an XXL. Didn't even know Zara did XXLs, but it's this button up, super stretchy white, I'm gonna say crop top, although it's not really that cropped. It was discounted because apparently there's like a stain on the material and my mum could see it, but I fully can't see it. Oh, that might be it. Can you see that? But that's by the collar and no one's gonna see that because my hair will be over it. But it's button up, I really like it because like the middle button where it buttons up is super stretchy. I'm not sure how I'm going to style it up but I've styled it up in the video try on clip anyway so you can see it there and yeah I've got nothing else to say about it other than I think I like it. Finally there's this top from Zara, this was in a medium um, but it was on an XL hanger annoyingly and I've tried it on and it fits so we're gonna roll with it. I'm really loving Zara at the moment so when I saw that they had loads and loads of Zara stuff in British Red Cross I was like yes take all my money take it but this is a beige cream crop top this is definitely a crop top with elastic on the bottom and it just makes it look really really cool it for me it like reminded me of 90s clothes like those 90s crop tops that you would have with like low-rise jeans if you get what like do you get what i mean <sighs> those crop tops that go in anyway i know what i mean and that's the important thing <laughs> but i thought this would go really nice with like a black skirt and yeah, oh, I just got a notification from Depop, talk of the devil. That was everything I got from the charity shops. I hope you enjoyed watching this absolute chaotic video that was my trip to the charity shops. Um, if you want to see more content, make sure you are subscribed. We still haven't reached 250. I am so close. So make sure you are subscribed. And yeah. I hope you have a wonderful day, week, month, year, whatever you are doing, and I will see you next time for another video. Bye!